short time ago I made a poll on my channel to ask you a lot what the most important historical events are and a lot of you said the internet which really surprised me so let's actually look at the most important you know historical events in history of the human beings. The most important first historical event is the agricultural revolution that is the human's domestication of plants and animals aka uh, you know, first cultivations of grains, first cultivations of dogs and horses, which are you know, very important um, first steps to actually gain food sustainably. A lot of these happened in the Middle East, you know, the region of Levant, and also at the same time China and uh, around Mexico. The second very, very important uh, historical invention is first cities. For example, Mesopotamia, aka nowadays Iraq. They were the first uh, big human settlements where they realized that, uh, you know, meeting together might have some benefits because you have a lot of agriculture and around the area, so you could then go trading. After that, the first vehicles, the sort of wheel, is crazy important to be able to bring something from A to B without having to carry it heavily and to do some freaking sick burnouts. The next quite a big step is the ancient uh, pyramids which were built where, I mean, the old pharaohs were buried, but it's still a landmark till today, and that was 2500 BC, you know. Next big step is the development of the modern alphabet. First writing, well, if you can write stuff, you can give it on to the next generation. Pretty useful. The earliest legal codes were made in 1700 BC in Iraq by King Hammurabi to give our society a bit of structure, kind of important. If a lot of people are in one place, you should have some ground rules. Then the next crazy big step is metallurgy. So use having better tools, aka farming tools, aka making better tools to survive, get more food. Then the ancient Greek civilization rose, kind of big boy time. A lot of the big, the first Greek city states were founded, aka Athens and uh, Sparta and philosophy aka Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, which was followed by the ancient Roman civilization, which founded Rome, the Roman Republic, conquered all of this, it was kind of tonk, but then they ran to the Parthian Empire and the Germanic boys weren't too happy and kind of got slapped, fell apart, split in two, and yeah, you probably know this story. After that, the life of Buddha, birth of Buddhism, we can make a religion out of this. And Confucianism, we can make a religion out of this. Then we had the Alexander the Great, who kind of got angry at all the people living in the East and just, you know, took all of it. And then he died super young, but he went quite far till India. Calendar was invented in Italy. Then we have the next big, you know, religious event, aka Jesus Christ, aka him, him crucified and then respawning after three days. The next big religious event was again the life of Muhammad and the birth of Islam. Then we had some big. Uh, historical wars, which would be the Franks basically uniting quite a bit under the Carolian Empire, uh, under King Charlemagne, then it's splitting apart into three states. The first invention of gunpowder in China around 800 till 1300. So Chinese alchemists actually tried to uh, produce the elixir of life and accidentally make gunpowder. You know, instead of creating life, you kind of cause the opposite. But which would really lead to the first, you know, fire arrows and then later on the first guns, which would modernize war. After that, we have the Norse exploration. Next quite important step is first university being established in Bologna. Well, crusade. They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail. The Khmer Empire built the Angkor Wat, which is still a big site till today. The next one might be around 1200, the first Jogonate uh, in Japan. Genghis Khan. From Poland to Korea, I rabbit to the and then the whole thing split apart, as it always happens. The Aztec civilization rose quite a bit, became super powerful in Central America, around the city of Tenochtitlan, aka modern Mexico City. After that we had the... <laughs> After that we had the Renaissance in Italy, a lot of painting, a lot of culture. The Inca Empire. <laughs> Also became kind of tonk till the Spanish said hi. I'm on over the of uh, Christopher Columbus uh, in 1492 he, in quotation marks, discovered America, looking for India. At the same time, the Ottoman took Constantinople and made kind of a huge empire, which peaked at 1600 something. Portugal also with Vasco da Gama. Uh, found a sea route around Africa and started quite a massive trading empire. The Spanish coming back from Central America brought along a lot of food, 
which is tomatoes, potatoes, corn, uh, squash and cacao with especially potatoes and tomatoes becoming one of the biggest uh, food sources in all of Europe. The slave trade started to ensue between the New World and Africa. Next kind of big thing is that Martin Luther sent 95 theses, he was very angry theses, and started to the split of the church. Ferdinand Magellan kind of tries to circumnavigate the globe and gets slaughtered in the Philippines, so does not complete his voyage, but got quite far. Then we had the boy Copernicus, uh, realizing that there should be maybe a heliocentrical model, that the Earth arose around the Sun and not the other way around, as was thought before. Queen Lizzie then repels the Spanish invasion. Shakespeare writes Hamlet. And the English kind of sla slapped the Spanish a few times in the colonial wars. Then another wonder which we have Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan builds the Taj Mahal for his favorite wife. We can make original. No, that's not. That's not. The English go through the first steam engine discovery, uh, industrialization. The first industrialization hits, making England one of the most important countries ever. The HRE. Poland Lithuania kind of slapped the Ottomans at the Battle of Vienna. Forward! In the name of God! Um, stopping the Ottoman expansion into Europe. Then we have the boy Isaac Newton having an apple slapped on his head and inventing, you know, just a few laws of motion and gravitation before people are just floating all the time. Boston Tea Party kind of becomes a thing. 1773, so that's the first creation of the US. Then the French. <laughs> country was so bankrupted by helping the Americans that they revolted themselves at the French Revolution which was kind of an important uh, part but at least it uh, had some good things like the Declaration of Man, France having like six wars with all of Europe, first the revolutionary France then was Napoleon, turns into the, the dictatorship but then in the end Napoleon loses in Russia. We all know the story, but it has some quite lasting changes for all of Europe. We had the medical revolution going on in well, especially England, uh, US and France. They started using anesthetics in surgery in 1846. And a lot of different germ theories start spreading out, making everything a bit more understandable, uh, especially, you know, relating to viruses. Then in 1800, we have the first railway. Rail transport. Around 1802 till 1830, the first train travels, making quite an important thing because again you can travel things from A to B, from mines faster to cities, making stuff a lot more mobile, like warfare as well. The abolition of the slave, tra slave trade happened between 1807 till 1888. Between 1817 and 1835, a lot of the Spanish colonies fight for independence in Central and South America. The first telegram is invented, Pavel Schilling. Uh, started the electromagnetical telegraph, but then Carl Friedrich Gauss and Wilhelm Weber built the first electromagnetic telegraph. Then we have the boy Karl Marx writing the first Communist Manifesto, which you know might, might later on you know attract some people to doing certain things. Charles Darwin publishes The Origin of Species, which basically is the theory of natural selection on, and biological evolution. The American Civil War happens, basically a short war, <laughs> not very short, between pro-slave and anti-slave states, the pro-slave, the anti-slave states win, so slavery gone. The Shogun rule in Japan ends in the Meiji Restoration. Suez Canal is also still built in uh, 1869, making trade routes way faster between Europe and Asia. The first telephone is invented by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. The split of Africa happens where all of Africa is split up into this map in a big conference of all the Europeans. The main winners are the uh, French, British and Germans also gain quite a lot of lands. Um, the Portuguese and the Italians gain some too. Spain doesn't really participate and nobody really, no, one of the three big powers, France, Germany and England, wanted to give each other the Congo. So everybody just said in the end, yeah, sure, Belgium, take it. <laughs> the issue is then that uh, the Belgian Congo actually just goes to the Belgian king, not to Belgium which creates a lot of issues. The suffrage movement for women starts in the US between 1839 and 1928. Self-governing colony of New Zealand grants voted uh, suffrage to women. So women could vote the first ever New Zealand. Good on you, New Zealand. Colorado becomes the first US state to grant full voting. After that, Australia did it, Finland, and in the end, in 1920, the USA also allowed women to vote. Radio was invented between 1799 and 1901. 
X-rays, kind of important for, you know, medical procedures, were invented as well in 1895. The first aircraft um, by the Wright brothers took off after that. Um, the Russians were beaten in the Russian-Japanese war. Japan is recognized as a world power in 1904. Very big surprise. Nobody expected that the European grand power could lose to an Asian nation. Albert Einstein was born in 1905 and, you know, kind of made a lot of series about fault electronics, Brownian motion, uh, relativity, and the equivalence of energy and matter, aka E equals mc squared. After that, we had a little war in <laughs> all of the world, World War I, uh, between two factions, Germany, uh, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire, versus basically England, France, Russia, and the US, with the latter winning the war, leading to the Russian Revolution, though, because Russia lost, having our first communist government. Spanish flu killing over 20 million people more in the First World War. The Great Depression hit all of the markets from 1929, where it started in the, U in the US, where the stock market crashed. And it kind of leads to a huge collapse in all of Europe, uh, which also might lead to the rise of Mr. Hotler in Germany. It's a team of Germany, Japan, Italy versus the US, France, UK, Russia. With, with the latter winning again, so don't be on Germany's side if you fight the world war and Italy switching sides. United Nations was fought after it. The digital revolution with the first computers happening. India obtains independence from the UK. Cold war happens, kind of important thing. Almost goes hot a few times, uh, especially in the Cuba crisis and the Berlin crisis. The US civil rights movements happen, giving equal rights to all citizens. This is led by Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. The Vietnam War, kind of important as well, US got slapped by some Vietnamese farmers. Soviet Union launches the space race with the US, uh, sent the first man to satellite, US is the first man on the moon, US President Kennedy is assassinated. The internet is born, Lawrence G. Roberts and Thomas Merrill create first wide area computer network. After that it kind of goes berserk, you can see the difference with today, but the internet technically started the first time in 1965, which is quite crazy. Who would have thought the internet is that old? The Cold War ends between 1989 and 1991 with the dissolution, dissolution of the Soviet Union and the reunification of Germany, the Berlin Wall falling. The end of apartheid in South Africa also becomes a thing. Then we have the sad thing of 9-11 happening 2001, which kind of changed travel till today. So these are kind of important, big, topics which happened. I think you all should be informed about these things. Thank you for watching and informing yourselves. Wish you a lot a nice day, nice weekend. And special shout out to my Patreons, Crimson, Dan Deutmann, Hans of Flammenwerfer, Lonely, Rock Brumen, Wolfie, Demon1234100, Alex Savage, Austrian HD, Donna, Gopnik, Robotnik, Happy Cow, James Meredith, Jonas Becker, Renegade Samurai, Rolidok, Selena Binko and Timor for being amazing supporters.